Hello everyone, welcome to another Loom Legacy video, and today the Sweets Retreat event is back with some new stuff added. So that's what this video is going to talk about, but before I talk about that, there is a new trainer to fight at Riley Ranch for some reason. So go there right now and fight him. And before we get on with the Sweet Retreat event, I am Gore Punk here at the Gorious Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me on my Twitter at Gorious Punk. Thumbs up or thumbs down, either way guys, thank you for stopping by and hanging out. But yes, Sweet Retreat is back in LL, so all you gotta do is click the Navigate Hub section, go to Hubs, and click Sweet Retreat. And boom, we are here! So what we're gonna talk about first is, yes, there is a cake mini game in here if you haven't been to Sweet Retreat the first time it came around. You gotta make a cake at the station, fill here, bake here, icing here, and he's doing the toppings and see the list on the right, it will tell you, and you get um, cake points. And with that cake points, you can buy items. Plus, you also gotta take orders, see the guy taking orders here. Before I show you what items you can get, we're gonna see what looms we can encounter in Sweet Retreat now. So yes, we can encounter all the same looms from last um, event. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what you can actually encounter in Sweet Retreat right now in the wild. So yes, all the same stuff from last time is back. So we got the Machi Bees are back. And there's um, three different colors of those. Plus if you add the Alpha, that's three different other colors. Plus if you add the Gammas, the three other different colors, which I still got some of them. This Gamma's the purple one. And then we got the red one with the face. And then the Alphas are here. And you also can still encounter Gworm. The Gworm is back in Sweet Retreat again. So you can start hunting for those Alphas or Gammas or whatever you want of Gworm. Also, once again, Cup Oink is back, and to evolve Cup Oink, you will need the birthday candle item to let you know. So these looms, the Cup Oink, the Gorm, and the Machi Bee, you can all rally them at Rally Ranch. They all will evolve without an item except for Cup Oink. Also, last year, um, before Sweet Retreat came, we got Valentine's Cub, which I call V-Cub. See the heart box on his, um, he's holding for Valentine's Day? Well, we got him back, but he's not holding a heart box anymore. He is holding like a regular birthday um, gift. So this would be like a birthday cub or whatever you want to call it. Or party cub. But yes, he is back and you do need an item to evolve him. Also the sweets jar, which will evolve him to your snack. Your snack is right here. And also you can still spawn Nimmery with the delicious cake item. And Nimmery is a event roaming, which I still got, what, like five, six, or eight of them to give out from last event. But yes, you can soft reset with cakes to try to get the Alpha or Gamma. So yeah, you bake those um, cakes to get cake items to buy items. And also, we got a birthday slugling, which I'm going to show you that right now. I have not encountered the birthday slugling yet, but I do have the odds for it, so I will say it in a second. But I'm going to show you a picture of it from Saps saps from my discord there it is right there birthday slugling and guys i hate slugling i can't stand because i probably encountered a box full of alphas or more during one event but this birthday slugling actually looks cool regularly but yes that's birthday slugling plus uh alpha of it which actually looks cool with the brown kind of like chocolate but then you evolve it and it kind of goes to like a mint pink cake and then it gets even pinker and it looks like somebody already found a Gamma version. That actually looks awesome. I love the black and white stripes, just like my shirt. I actually like that. I really doubt I'm going to see a Gamma of it. But what are the odds? The sap posts the odds for me. 1 out of 200 for cake slugling, which I'm calling B-Day slugling. 1 out of 100 for the Valentine's fan cub, which is like the birthday cub now. Gleam odds are not halved. So that's what's actually you can find in the wild or do the cake pedestal thing. So you can buy an item called Delicious Cake and one will spawn one memory. So you go right here, it's an odd looking pedestal and if you have the cake item on you, you can spawn memory over and over and over to get secret ability, alpha, or gamma, which I still have never encountered one. But if you notice in the bottom left corner of my screen, I have 863 cakes because I sat on here mobile making these cakes. See, look at he's just popping out these cakes. And then you use your cakes in your bottom left corner to buy items and we do got the same items as last year but some different. So we got chocolate bar, which when a loom equipped with chocolate bar uses a move in battle, it consumes the item and will cost zero energy. Delicious cake is to spawn memory. 
The birthday candle is to involve cup oink to Hogganash, so you do need that if you want to involve any cup oink. Same as the Valentine's cup slash birthday cup, sweets jar, 300, uh, yeah, you gotta put, give that to him or put it on him, whatever. You will get the Hogganash saddle, I think, once you involve cup oink to its evolution. And I don't know how much it is, because I bought it last year, probably the same price as we got a new Macho saddle. This is a brand new saddle, and to have it actually show the price so you can buy it, you will have to have a uh, macho all the way so if you got a macho b you got to raise it to its second evolution and get him to his third evolution this is the gamma version which is pretty awesome so let's look at it i don't know why the black ain't loading that looks crazy it looks like he's a planet with two moon with two moons floating and also you can buy gummies for 10 um cakes so I forgot to show this earlier, so here's the tweet from Llama Train Studios about the Sweet Retreat event is now live and LL to reach the Sweet Retreat, like I said, through the hub. And this is what they say, we plan to bring something new to Sweet Retreat every weekend during the duration of the event. So usually events last three weeks, but I was thinking they were going to add a new loom every weekend. But if you read it again, it says we plan to bring something new. Something new. To the sweet retreat event every weekend so they're not saying bring new looms they say bring something so it could be an item who knows what it could be but i'm hoping it's like a new loom but let's get back to sweet retreat well that's what was added in sweet retreat event two yes yeah, sweet retreat is back in ll so how about you guys start hunting start making those cakes with everyone you can see them in the background making the cakes look at them but yes, I am Gore Punk here at the Gorius Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me at my Twitter at Gorius Punk and thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, guys, thank you for stopping by and hanging out and start looking for those new looms. Either way, guys, thank you for stopping by. Peace out. Have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you're at on this planet Earth. Peace out.